crystal. You'll get it back in Venice. Frightening me like that. I could have fallen under the wheels. I thought you were a ghost. Ghosts don't exist. They do too. One just flew past my window. Be off with you. Oh, man. Phew, that was close. This Zellner is much more efficient than we were. We did not immediately open that. How convenient. Isn't it? Now get a screwdriver. Since apparently there's not one on your Swiss Army knife. A wrench, you don't say. What's a wrench good for? It's too easy. I thought you said there were screws. Were they bolts? Am I just... Uh, do I have the worst reading comprehension of anyone on the planet? It is possible. What are you doing? Well, yes, go back over there. There you go. Okay. You just had a very backwards way of climbing up there. Screws, not bolts. All right, anyway, does this work? Wait. Okay, so we have a translation error, because that is not a wrench. That is, in fact, a screwdriver. I could unscrew the screws, but I should only open the cover inside the tunnel. Huh, looks like it actually fits. Of course it does. It's a it's design for this. What was that? Sir! Must have fallen out. Oh, we're in trouble now. Put that on the floor. Yes, sir. That was close. If the second screw makes that much noise, it's over for me. Yeah, it is. Okay, what do we do now? What do we do now? Let's... Hmm, okay, so the last screw made too much noise. So we won't do it again, right? Because we'll get caught. Right, okay. Just making sure. Also hits the floor. Legrand will know that I'm up here. My only option will be to jump. That would suck. Don't jump from the train. So can I use the ball of wool? No, so with a knife to do something. Like cut a piece off and... So I'm put the ball of wool like tied in there to catch the bolt, the nut from falling? No. Also not. What's gonna happen? I don't know. Let's wander around for a minute. See if we can find some more stuff. Okay, we've got a wrench, which means that... I'm trying to get back to chapter one. The first time we were on this train, Zellner has the wrench, which means he opened the professor's door. Which means the professor's not in the hallway, which means it is safe for us to walk past up to the front of the cabin. Let's go. We have now opened up the rest of the train. We will probably pass Zellner right through here somewhere. Right? We can't talk to them anymore. Let's get on out of here. Wonder what we need the wool for. Open the door with pliers. I think the coast is clear. Yes, pliers, not wrench. But pardon me, sir. We could have used you a few minutes ago. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, you don't have the key. Not the key, the pliers as key. I assume inch 
is also in the compartment. He'll probably find some excuse to sneak out to trigger the blackout and engage the emergency brakes. No idea how he expects to pull that off. He usually leaves me in the dark about such things. Even after months of partnership, he still doesn't trust me completely. Just a few more days, and I'll finally be rid of that creep. And until then, he has to burn in his own personal hell with the Baroness. A nice thought. Obviously, they managed to open the door. I wonder who or what the archaeologist thinks locked it. Did he connect it to the burglary in London? Uh, probably not. He's pretty paranoid, maybe. Professor Lucien is on his way to Cairo, just like the Baroness. They both know each other. She chairs the Friends of the British Museum Club. I hope he's too shaken up to leave his cabin until we reach Venice. Let us continue forward. I don't remember what's in the front of these... in the front areas. Well, keep going. And we are able to get into the new area. Let's not talk to our master thief. Let's see if he got this book signed yet. Hmm. A paperback. A crime novel, I'd say. The Vicarage in the Mirror by Clarissa Westmacott. I'm not interested in crime novels, but I recognize her name. She's the most successful writer in the world. Can we take it? Uh, better not. Oh. If I'm going to swipe something, it had better be worthwhile. I was wondering how the plot would make that work. Alright, let's go forward. What else is up here? Sam with this notice. Some maps, info for travelers, some pictures, and the schedule all neatly hung up with magnets. Yes, magnets. Huh? Uh, won't work. There's a lock at the bottom of the window. You do have the keys, don't you? There you go. Hmm. Maybe. Excellent. Take some magnets. Shows the different routes the Orient Express took in the course of its long history. It's larger than the other notices, and thus hung up with larger magnets. <laughs> I'll take one with me. Excellent. I Some wonder. Of the photos are rather nice. Professional work. I wonder if it's possible to notice a magnet missing in the first Flying game over the coal or for, is the only first chapter. The driver's cab while the train is moving. I can't imagine Inch climbing over it to trigger a blackout up front. I bet he paid someone to do his dirty work. Inch almost never takes personal risks, and usually he tries to keep his hands clean. Interesting. It's good to know. So let's go back. Take that other screw off. With our screwdriver that is labeled a wrench. Watch him jump around the wrong way for a while. Go back over here. Come on. There you go. I go where I want. Go where I want. Now we will somehow magically use this magnet on this shaft or not. We'll put this magnet on here. No, let's just try to use this non wrench. If the second nut, my only right. option. Fair enough. Ties magnet to a string. There we go. Tie the magnet to the string. Done. Now put the magnet down there. Good job.
We should. What? The light's gone out. Flashlights. Ah, get off me. There, sir. An envelope. My dear Nico, you should take a closer look at the box. Ah, what the dickens? It's, it's a... Away with it! Take cover! The raven almost killed us. What's the meaning of this? What do you want here? You about blew me up, you jerk. I'm fine. Thanks for asking. I didn't ask how you were. I asked why you spoke to me in public. Because you tried to what murder me? point of the bomb? Isn't that obvious? I wanted to dispose of Legrand as spectacularly as possible. You almost disposed of me as well. Did I not tell you to deliver the letter and leave immediately? People could... I don't think so, actually. But of course! That was the point of the bomb. I don't want to hurt anyone. You know that. And you know that I don't care what you want. Obey my orders and nothing will happen to you, and you'll soon be a rich man. Are we convinced he's the raven? Or just some dude like pretending to be the raven? I mean, I guess he is. He's got the handwriting down. That's what Legrand was saying. I won't I don't know. Obey Legrand's orders anymore. Legrand. I want to know what the plan is. Raven's evil. You know as much as you need to know. We will steal the second eye in Cairo before the eyes of the world. The theft of the first eye got everyone's attention. Legrand's death would have increased the excitement immeasurably. But this will do just as well. We'll have a showdown instead. The Raven versus the Inspector. That should also electrify the press. Why are you doing this? I thought it was about the jewels. Why are we making life difficult for ourselves and attracting so much attention? It's about more than that. It's about performing on the greatest stage of all. About the end of a legend. You'll see when it's time for you to see. Until then, just do as I say. And what if I just leave? You knew who you were dealing with the whole time. I don't have time for your hypocrisy. You always knew who you were dealing with. If, for your peace of mind, you have to pretend to be innocent in this situation, so be it. But we both know that you begged me to let you in on the heist. And in this business, one must get one's hands dirty. But, James! James! Where on earth are you? During the trip, we'll keep a low profile and steer clear of Legrand. I, uh, I lost the ticket and the fake passport. I swear, if my arm was still good enough to climb, I'd have disposed of you long ago. Oh, well. I'd prefer that no one see you while you're on board. Smuggle yourself on board and stay under cover until Cairo. Okay. And no more games. Nothing that Legrand, the police, or anyone else could do to you compares to what I will do to you if you don't follow my plan. James, there you are. Is the inspector to carry my luggage onto the ship all by himself? He thinks he knows me. He thinks I'm stupid and weak. I have him right where I want him. Here's a young thief who'll show an old-timer how it's done. Oh, really? Even if it means a bit of solitary confinement.
So I completely forgot about the stowaway. Totally. Didn't even realize that we saw this guy on the boat. I hope the dock workers have left the cargo hold. I better just take a peek. Or at least I'd take a peek if it were possible to open it. Uh, feels like metal. Angular. I think it's the trunk lock. There are small round bumps with slots in the middle. Could be screws. Okay, where's the screwdriver? Uh, huh, knife. See, uh, there's the now we've got a screwdriver. So, if I just before we did this, uh, aha! So I suspect what they really meant last time was that it should have actually been a wrench, and they should have been bolts, because that would explain why our Swiss Army knife did not open them. So I think they got the term correct on the tool and then screwed up the picture and the uh, text for the bolt. That's my guess. Oh, you're kidding me! About what? Seems to be a strong oh, you can't open it. Something on the shelf above the trunk. <sighs> Unfortunately, I can't reach the clasp. Oh, because you're stuck. That's kind of funny. It's fastened tightly, and I can't reach the clasp. Well, cut it. Okay, now take this strap and get this toolbox. Oh, brilliant! Hopefully the clasp won't slip out of the box when I pull the strap. Yeah, pull slowly. There you go, make a mess. Get this tool so we can hit Zellner in the head with it in a moment. The pipe rolled up against the shelf, but it's still out of my reach. Uh. How's that supposed to work? I don't know. The strap won't tie itself around the pipe. I was hoping you were smarter than me. I was hoping you were smarter than me. What's over here? Okay, so let's pull the box. No. I want you to pull the box over here with the strap to hit this. Guess not. Looks like I hit the jackpot on my first try. There's nothing more to be had. Okay. What am I missing? What haven't I seen yet? There's the chair we hook up with Zoner yet. Two metal pipes. Stable. About 10 meters apart. So you want to... And then it'll just that? tie itself around the pipes? Not gonna happen. If you throw it and like hook around or something, I don't know. Hmm. Alright then. I'll just drive the blade through the end of the strap. And then can we hook on this? Hmm. It's yeah, worth a try, try it. Good job. Go ahead. You can do it. Very nice. Okay, now, now tie the pope, the pope, the pipe uh, into here. That should hold. And then throw the whole concoction against these pipes to My pull yourself best out. Chance. Right? Steady there you go. As a rock. And not a second too soon, it seems. There you go. Get on out of here so the Zellner can come by and accuse you of being inside still. Elegant. No 
Nope, he's right there. Get him. Sorry, Zelda. All these lights weren't on whenever I was down here, Zelda. Okay, I'll tie him up and then get out of here before they start looking for him. And I already have an idea where I can hide. I can't imagine that we just leave. Yeah, and without saying goodbye either. Where are you going? No need to be frightened, young lady. What are you doing here? I wanted to see you. This is hardly the time or the place. What happened on the train? What? Nothing, nothing bad. Everyone is fine. What? Which is dangerous. I warned you. I know. That's why we're being careful. And you have a smart and handsome young thief at your side. And humble, too. Don't worry. I'll take care of you. What have I done to deserve luck like this? What? What? Should have known. Should have known she was involved. I should have seen that last one coming. I really should have. But I didn't. But I didn't. I was expecting her to throw him out of the cabin. So he's got a plan. Young Raven has a plan to double cross, apparently. Old, evil, crazy Raven. And I guess that'll be chapter three. That would be chapter three, man. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I, I'm happy. I'm enjoying myself so far. I like the plot. I didn't. I did forget about the stowaway. I did. I should have known he was involved somehow, but I forgot about him completely. I didn't realize who the Raven was gonna be until they revealed it. I mean, I know I picked the right selection when we were choosing, but still, I wasn't sure. I was hoping it was a Grand. Actually, I figured it wouldn't be because that would be difficult for them to do but I was kind of hoping he was dirty still hoping he's dirty actually still hoping um but there we go that's been the Raven chapter 2 chapter 3 comes out in about a month I'll of course well, a month when I'm re a month since these chapter 2 came out it's the end of September is when it is released and I will play it as soon as it comes out play it record it put it up here and we will see how our young Raven is going to outsmart old Raven. If he even lived, we saw Inch looked like he shot Zellner before it left us there and took us back to the past. And we know that our young Raven tried to shoot Inch but didn't have any bullets in his gun, so that went poorly. I don't know. Does an inch even let him live? He's now got both pieces of the jewel at that point. Does an inch win the day? Does he just turn around, shoot Zellner, shoot the young man, and the bad guy wins? I don't know. We will find out, though. We will find out. Man. Hmm. I miss it. This has been The Raven Chapter 2. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Oh, 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 oh.